BTS is already teasing their next album. Hey everyone, it's Jose, and I'm back with another special video. We're about to hit the two week mark since Map of the Soul Persona was released. Persona is still fresh out of the oven, and we are enjoying it so much. Well, guess what? BTS is already teasing and dropping hints about their next album. Yes, already. We can't catch a break, y'all, and neither can our wallets. RM actually stated they have started working on their next album already in his recent V Live. So I am here to let you know what hints have been dropped and the potential name of the album. Let's look at the archetypes in Carl Jung's Map of the Soul. We have one called The Shadow, which is the unknown dark side of the personality. To start, let's go back to Persona, the MV where Namjoon is in front of a chalkboard and you see a bunch of words and phrases written. Well, three words are written numerous times. Persona, Shadow, and Ego. Persona happens to be the first album of this series. It's safe to assume the next albums will be Shadow and the third one being Ego. We actually were given a major hint in the Boy With Love MV. In the Boy With Love MV, we have shots where we can see the names of all their albums in big bright lights. Well, there is one word that does not match any of their past album names. It's cut off, but you can see three letters, S, H, and A. It's safe to assume that word is shadow which hints at their upcoming album name. We also have the scene where Namjoon is on stage, and if you look closely, his reflection or shadow is cast on the side of the stage inside what looks like a cage. This is important because Carl Jung describes the shadow as the dark side of the personality that one tends to reject or ignore because it's one of the least desirable parts in the personality. Now let's fast forward to a more recent event that actually took place yesterday, the FACT Music Awards. BTS won four awards, one of them being the Daesung Award, the biggest of the night. The guys accepted their award and gave their acceptance speech, but something that appeared above them on the screens caught many ARMY's eyes. The phrase, youth is not coming back, appeared. Many may not have thought much about it, but this phrase appears in the run Japanese music video. It appears in V's scene and in Jimin's. This is huge because it pretty much confirms we are going in order for the previous eras and intros. For Persona, RM did the intro and it was a connection to their school trilogy. For their next album, which we can predict it will be called Map of the Soul Shadow, Suga will be the next member to have the intro, since after the school trilogy came the youth trilogy, or the HYYH era, where Yoongi had the intro and Run was a title track in that era. Another thing to point out in the Run MV is with Taehyung's scene. We can also see the phrase res non verba, which means deeds, not words, or facts instead of words, or actions be used instead of words. We can connect this as well since it is telling us facts, not words. So they're telling us don't pay attention to the words. Youth is not coming back because clearly we are going back to the HYYH era, and youth is coming back. Actions instead of words. What are you thinking? It's a lot to process. It's a lot that has already been teased and hinted at. And we literally are not even at two weeks since Map of the Soul Persona was released. <laughs> Do you have any theories or anything else you can think of that you can connect with this theory or your own theories? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Thank you so much for your support. I feel the love and I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And until next time, adios.